Hello and welcome to Teachings in Education, the personalized learning model. Question, why should we use a personalized learning model? Well, with a personalized learning model, students are actively learning. It's a student-centered classroom where students are busy working. Another benefit is that appropriate learning goals are given for each student. These appropriate goals will increase the chance of student success. Utilizing technology is a big part of personalized learning. Students will use technology and develop digital literacy through their personalized instruction. Here, students' interests are prioritized and integrated into their personal curriculum. This helps make the learning experience more meaningful for students and increases engagement. One of the biggest advantages is that students don't really fall behind. Students work at their optimal pace and aren't forced to keep up with other higher achieving students. Moving forward, we ask, how do you personalize learning? I'm going to outline my personal strategy, which is merely a guide for instruction. First off, you need to get to know the student. How can you personalize learning without knowing the student? Find out the student's interests, strengths, weaknesses, hobbies, life goals, etc. and so forth. The next step involves learning goals. Collaboratively work with your students and help them create learning objectives under your guidance. Next, co-design curriculum with students and incorporate project-based learning models. This can involve an inquiry-based learning strategy and longitudinal portfolios. Now, teachers have to give students the opportunity to work at their own pace. Students shouldn't feel rushed. It's important that they don't compete with other students. Number five, be a facilitator of learning. Ask probing questions to students and be there for your students at any obstacle. Lastly, assessments. Consider using standards-based grading, formative assessments, and self-assessments for students. Now, let's take a look at personalized learning from the learner's perspective and it becomes much easier for the learner with the recent advances in technology. Personalized learning model redefines the way we look at a student. The student is instead defined as a learner with the ability to create their own learning paths. Students slash learners discover and understand how they learn best. They recognize their strengths, weaknesses, and what they should do to succeed. With this model, teachers are viewed more as collaborators. Students should feel comfortable asking teachers for help and assistance. Too often, students become disengaged because they are being told how to learn, what to learn, and when to learn it. Students have a level of control here. The learners are given a voice and flexibility. Personalized learning provides students with real power to make changes and take part in design of curriculum. Nevertheless, it's ultimately the teacher that must okay the curriculum created by the student. And lastly, we move on to the personalized learning environment. In the environment, there must be a place where a student can work one-on-one -on -one and get individual time with their teacher. There should also be a designated area for whole class discussions. Here, teachers can make announcements and allow students to bounce ideas off of one another. There should be a space for students to work on projects. Remember, project-based learning is a large component of personalized learning. A place for collaboration and group work should be created. Think of long tables, however, circular tables I recommend. And lastly, a place for students to work individually as necessary. There are going to be times when students need to work on their laptops. 
Right now, I want to say thank you for your time, subscribe to this channel, and you'll also find links in the description below for resources, PowerPoint presentations, and much, much more. Thank you for your time.